Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing good today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope everybody's doing good today. Would you believe it's like 60 something degrees here today? It's supposed to go back down, but it's like 60 degrees out there today. Hence the tank top. Anyway, uh, today I have a DIY trash to treasure for you. Another item found out on the curb. Uh, it's an old chair. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm not a reupholsterer, but I'm going to try. And uh, hopefully it'll turn out all right. I have some fabric um, that I didn't have to buy. Um, I've had it for a while, and so this project's going to cost me next to nothing. Let's see how it turns out. Say a prayer for me, and we'll see what happens. Let's get on with the project. So this is the round tray that I got at Goodwill. Um, it was $2.99, and this is the chair. Um, I love how they turned out. I'm really happy with them, but I am not an upholsterer, like I said, and I'm just not good at it. So, first, I'm going to show you what I did here. It's pretty self explanatory. I painted the tray white with my chalk paint that I made, and I just designed this on my uh, studio from my silhouette cameo. and put it on the tray that's about it easy peasy and got myself a cute little tray for the kitchen and I thought this uh, saying was appropriate because I don't like to cook I don't cook much um, it's just me here and um, my son stays with me and He's usually out all the time, so I really don't cook. I hardly ever cook for myself. So I basically just make a lot of sandwiches. I'm a cleaner. I like to clean. Anybody else like that? They just hate to cook, but like to clean. And the dirtier, the better. Like, if I find something that's really dirty, it's a challenge to me. So this is the... The easy uh, tray that I made, I thought it was cute. I really wanted a, a one that turns. So here's the chair. Now, I a lot of people would have looked at this and said, oh God, no, I can't do anything with that. Um, but I saw it and I saw potential in it. I knew I could make it pretty again. And even though I don't know how to work with fabric very well, especially on furniture, I figured I'd give it a damn good try. And I'm okay with how it turned out. I'm okay with it. So the first thing I did is I'm just showing you uh, what's left of it, this horrible fabric that was on it. Um, here's after I took all the fabric off of it. And gave it one coat of my chalk paint that I made. It only took two coats. Uh, it was a little hard to go around the spindles. But I took my time and uh, just made sure I got it all in the crevices and everything. And it really looks nice. Now, this fabric I got from Job Lot. Does anybody have a Job Lot in their uh, towns? Um, not Big Lots, Job Lots. This fabric was like five yards for like $5. I got a couple different kinds, and they had it in front of the store, and I just grabbed them. So, um, here's where I did the back, and I kept the same I put new um, padding in the back, but I kept the same padding that was on the um, seat. Um, 
it was still in pretty good condition and when I sat in it it felt pretty good now I couldn't figure out how to uh, get this stapled on without being able to see the staples but you can hardly see them you can really hardly see them they did come with those little nail tacks that I did put in some areas um, but uh I didn't know how else to do it. I don't plan on selling this chair, so I'm not really worth wor worried about it. I'm going to keep it, and you know what? I like it, so it doesn't matter. I probably could get some more of those tacks and put them down on the sides. Um... I might just do that. You can see them on the back there right where I use them. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just cutting anywhere. Um, I'm not measuring. I really didn't have a full piece of fabric that came off the chair that I could have used as like a pattern. Um, they were in pretty bad shape. So I couldn't really use them. I just pretty much tucked and folded and tried to make some uh, seams, you know, uh, where I could make it look seamless. And just tuck it in where you couldn't see any frayed edges. I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> Doesn't look like it there, does it? But, um, I mean, the back looks a little wrinkled, but you know what? I, I couldn't do any better than that. I tried. I really tried. All I can say is I tried my best, and that's all I can do. That's all any of us can do. If you feel like you know, you're not good at DIYs or as long as you tried your best, that's all you can do. And if you like it, who cares? Sometimes I get people's opinions, but when it comes down to it, if I like it, that's how it goes. I'm the one who has to live with it, so... Oh, look at the head on this. My hair looks horrible. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize what I look like. Today, for the first time, I didn't have to get up early. I didn't have to go to dialysis. I didn't have to go to work. I did nothing. I got up with no alarm. I still get up early. I get up very early. Is anybody else a morning person? I am a morning person. I'm up at 5 o'clock every morning. Although I do go to bed before 9, I am up at 5 every morning. I love the mornings. I love to sit and relax when it's quiet before anybody else gets up. And... Uh, I enjoy that. I like to watch the news in quiet before I have to go down and feed the animals. I even get up before the dog. So here's the finished project. Um, I don't know about you, but I think it's okay. I like it. I like how it looks. Throw a pillow on it. You can't really see my mistakes. Uh, I think it's great. And I'm going to use it in my new house when I move. Um, let me know what you guys think. Give me your honest opinion. Do you think it looks like crap or do you like it? 
So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. There's a lot of open invites coming up this month. So keep an eye out for me. Please subscribe to my channel. I really, really could use the support. Um, I'm joining all the invites this month to try to get my name out there. I'm really working hard on my channel. And I'm hoping you guys notice me and subscribe to my channel. And I'm really working on trying to get three, two to three videos out a week. Thank you so much again, and I love you guys, and have a great week, guys. Thank you.